Let's break down the move with Jeffrey's healthcare analyst, David Winley, joining us by phone. Is it, is it just because, David, it's been such, a, such an area of strength for the market so far this year and that's reversing now? I think you're exactly right. I think you and Mike have framed this really well, that these stocks have done their jobs. They're defensive. They've beaten numbers every quarter this year. They've raised EPS estimates by 4% versus an S&P 500 that's going the other way. Um, the stocks have been a safe haven. They've outperformed the S&P 500 35% year to date until the last couple of days. And now they're giving some of that back because th they've done their job, but they're not really um, where people want to rotate to at this point. Should they be wanting to rotate to them? Do the valuations still look attractive given what's happening with fundamentals? Right. So fundamentals are really good. The companies have set themselves up for another strong growth year next year. Um, you still got to believe that investor or, or that customers don't want to uh, exit their health insurance with a pandemic still kind of the lingering elements of a pandemic still going on. However, the valuations are 8 to 10 percent still above historical averages. So they're not cheap mm. stocks. Um, they've been, you know, they've been safe havens. They've been comfortable places for people to hang out and hide money. And so from a valuation standpoint, they probably need to find a new a new base, uh, and then, you know, and then earnings can, can deliver upside to the stocks into 2023. I know you have buys on Humana, hold on UNH. Why, have, why has this been one of the strongest part of the healthcare sector? What's going on with managed well, there's care? A couple, there's a couple things. Um, the, the pandemic, some government-sponsored uh, support uh, and, and policies during the pandemic have actually increased membership in managed care plans, so protections in Medicaid, Medicaid, for example. So membership has grown, but at the same time, concerns about COVID have kept people out of the hospital to some degree, and nurse shortages have also impacted the ability for people to get elective procedures, so that's actually good for managed care. So those things combine to make earnings even better than what they might normally be, uh, and, and when you add that to the defensive nature of the businesses naturally, they've really been an attractive place to be. Well, thank you for joining us to talk about some of the calls and evaluations in the space. We appreciate it. David Winley.